Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to the United States Military Academy at West Point. They arrive as individuals. You're now about to take your first step into becoming an officer and a member of the Long Gray Line. Connected by a common idea. Welcome aboard, shipmates. And it's bigger than any one of them. You have 90 seconds to say your goodbyes. <laughs> Nearly 9,000 cadets and midshipmen walk these grounds each year. 9,000 stories, each as unique as the young person that tells it. I grew up in a rural town in Texas. My dad is my football coach. Pretty simple life out there, so it's a big change coming all the way up to New York. I'm from Norfolk, Virginia. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Came here for a better opportunity after college and after football's done. I was inspired to just try something new. Here, kids, about Put myself out there. It was something that nobody had ever done before in my family. Theirs are stories of challenge. When I say something, you do it! And often of love. I have a lot of pictures of Jimmy. That's the first time I held him, how little he was. I'd taken Jimmy to his first Army game when he was about eight years old. As we were leaving the game, he said that he wanted to be an Army football player. So, I mean, he did make his dream happen. Go Army! Be Navy! For myself, I wanted to come here since I was a little kid. My older cousin, as I was growing up, was in the Army. I had an uncle in the Army. I mean, we thought he was a hero. At that moment, I wasn't exactly thinking West Point, but I knew that he was special. <laughs> Getting a little emotional. Good afternoon. Growing up with parents who work in the healthcare environment, it's really contributed to Xavier's sense of service and his desire to serve. Go Navy, Navy, Army! I'm the first person in my family to be in the military, but I've always realized I wanted to use my influence to change my little section of the world. The world is an uncertain place, so I think as a mom, you're always concerned about what it's going to mean, but I know he's made the right choice for him. These are just the beginnings of the stories the academies have known throughout the centuries. A history that includes a legendary Heisman winner and Rhodes Scholar, one of the captains of this year's Navy team, whose parents are refugees of Kosovo, a U.S. astronaut who held the record for most spacewalks by a woman in NASA history, and a current Army coach who continued to make his impact felt long after he graduated from West Point. Coach Mike Beatty walked across the country and supported veterans and their families who had lost loved ones. And he really inspired me to want to follow in those footsteps. Today, in Foxborough, Massachusetts, they set foot on this field like every cadet and midshipman has since 1890. And though they take opposite sides for this one day, their stories will intertwine when the final missile blows. And the next chapter is written. 9,000 young men and women, each with their own unique story that has led them here today to this timeless football game. For the 124th time, this is Army-Navy. Today, nearly 200 Army and Navy football players bring their stories to New England. And the question, who amongst them will author another chapter in the history of this great game? Long before the New England Patriots were famous for winning Super Bowls, the Patriots of New England from another era were the original freedom fighters during the Revolutionary War. It was 250 years ago in the Boston Harbor, some 40 miles north and east from these storied grounds, that a little tea party took place, an initial wave of defiance that led to the War of Independence by those New England Patriots. So this is the backdrop as we get ready for one of the greatest rivalries in all of sports. This is the 124th Army-Navy game, America's game, presented by USAA. As we head down to the field, let's first go to our public address announcer, Greg Davis. College football on CBS, the Army-Navy game presented by USAA is sponsored by Domino's. Navy Federal Credit Union, the Home Depot, and by USAA, proud sponsor of the Army-Navy game. A packed house at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. 
And from Annapolis, the midshipman of Navy. Welcome everybody, 